Welcome. For the next couple of minutes, I will take you, the viewer, on a jury journey that encompasses America, Europe, and over a century's worth of scientific discovery. It all started with Einstein. Being the innovative ph physicist that he was, he wanted to come up with a theory of everything. Or a toe. That would allow him to mesh quantum physics with his own relativity, thus uniting both the world of the large with galaxies and the world of the small with objects such as atoms. Also a theory of everything would allow scientists to describe mysterious objects in the galaxy called black holes, a substance with so much gravity not even light can escape. The reason a theory of everything would explain black holes is that they are really tiny in that they are a singularity requiring quantum physics, but they also have a lot of mass requiring Einstein's relativity. But Einstein was never able to cash in his chips. He died in 1955 before he could come up with a new theory. String theory, a supposed new theory of everything. String theory declares that the building blocks of all matter are tiny strings. From your apple at lunch to you, everything is made up of these strings. Some scientists and mathematicians believe that string theory is a holy grail because of the fact that it is a theory of everything creating a single mathematical theory to explain the universe. Another thing about string theory is that it is a big paradigm shift. Scientists used to use billiard balls to describe the nature of atoms. Now they would use tiny strands of spaghetti. But what exactly is a string? According to the video on the subject, The Elegant Universe, a string is at the heart of every bit of matter and is a tiny vibrating strand of energy. But these strings don't just vibrate at one frequency. Like the strings on my viola, they vibrate at different frequencies and create different things. With my viola, it is a different note. With the string, it is a different force or type of matter present in the universe. One thing about strings is that strings are incredibly tiny and at the heart of the theory. But another more confusing subject also is multiple dimensions. String theory requires at least 10 dimensions. These dimensions are the normal four, length, width, height, and time, in addition to extra curled up dimensions. These extra dimensions could host a myriad of things, such as multi-dimensional brains, but not that type of brain, of course. Brains are classified by how many dimensions they have, and originally theories had one brains, but um, the theory was extended to more than one dimension. These brains could hold other universes right next to us, thus creating the science fiction concept of parallel universes and dimensions. Okay, so what exactly is string theory? Actually, there are about six different types of string theory, but like the story of the blind men and the elephants, five of these six are just different viewpoints of the same theory, a theory mysteriously called M-theory. The first string theory that people came up with was called bosonic string theory. Bosonic string theory requires 26 dimensions, and the only particles larger than a string are bosons and tachyons. And tachyons are a particle with imaginary mass. Gravity! In addition, though, it does include the graviton. A couple notable particles that were left out of bosonic string theory include fermions, quarks, and electrons. It, if one would add supersymmetry to bosonic string theory, you would get a theory describing both forces and matter in the universe. Scientists don't believe that bosonic string theory is the true string theory, 
although two of the M theory string theories are partially derived from it. Of the M theory, there are two main types, heroic and anti-heroic. Dr. Edward Witten was the originator of string theory. Heroic is one of the derivations of bosonic string theory. Heroic string theories include closed strings or, and are orientable, meaning that one can tell which direction a string is vibrating in. Because of the influences of bosonic string theory, heroic string theories use 26 slash 10 dimensions. This means that there are 10 dimensions with circs coiled up, but within these 10 dimensions there are 16 extra dimensions. M theory does not include bosons or tachyons. A number of other string theories fit within M theory, but are too complex to explain within the boundaries of this project. Furthermore, the various M theory concepts aren't even recognized by all physicists, making string theory more of a philosophy. Particle man, particle man, doing the things a particle can. What's he like? It's not important. Particle man, is he a dot or is he a speck? When he's underwater, does he get wet or does the water get him instead? Nobody knows, particle man.